Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro and a lot of you have been requesting for this particular video about Pixel Experience ROM for the Poco X3 Pro. Now today's video we're going to install it. So I'm going to show you how do I install it and what is the easiest and the quickest way to have a clean flash and have an experience in which you don't have any bugs or you know any issues because of flashing. At the same time we will have a quick look around the ROM and see if there are any bugs or not. So this is basically a how to install and what's new on Pixel Experience for the Poco X3 Pro. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you can find more than a thousand like-minded people supporting each other so you can join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to PhoneOps, my name is Kalash. let's get going. All right, so let's see what do we have here. Pixel Experience Unofficial. So this is Pixel Experience, the plus variant unofficial based on OSS vendor. So this is not official, but this has been updated on the 26th of July. And from the way it looks, I think we should have an official release really, really soon. Now, as far as the device change log is concerned, Torch from Quick Setting has been fixed. Thanks to Seva, audio delay has been fixed. So that's great. WFD has been fixed thanks to Fox. L1 now appears on Netflix thanks to Fox removed live wallpaper no one uses this okay updated with latest updates from source improvements from other minor bugs bugs are double tap to wake is working but you need to turn the screen on first right now as far as the notes are concerned it ships with Ethereum kernel version 3 suggested firmware is 12.5.2 global SE Linux status is enforcing safety net passes out of the box so that's great ships with G apps differences between P and P plus you can click here and you can find out the details so not only this is a pixel experience plus ROM this also comes with Ethereum version 3 kernel right now first we're going to flash it as I said and I've copied the ROM the firmware on the SD card you can use the OTG or you can format data and then copy everything on the internal storage and then flash because what we're going to do over here is we're going to do a clean flash now things to take care of make sure you have more than 50% battery the most important thing backup 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 because we're going to do a clean install which will wipe everything on your phone's internal storage so make sure you backed up your photos music pictures and everything at the same time remove all the google accounts screen lock face unlock all the security right so once you have taken care of all of that you need to make sure that you need to have an unlocked bootloader and the latest version of twrp installed and the files that you will need is the firmware and the rom and once the rom is flashed you can flash dfe and then do a format data so that's about it let's get to the flashing process so as i said i have everything ready so press and hold the volume button let's go to power let's go to restart now as always xiaomi phones press and hold volume up in power the moment you see the poco logo release the buttons it will boot into twrp right i am decrypted but still i will go ahead and do a factory reset right so go to wipe go to format data type in yes All right, after then go to reboot and select recovery, swipe to confirm reboot. Pretty standard procedure that we follow in flashing all the ROMs, okay. Now go to wipe, wait for the touch drivers to load. So go to wipe, go to advanced wipe, Dalvik data internal storage cache, right. That's all that I'm wiping, okay. Now go to install, select storage, my files are on the SD card, hit OK. First thing you need to flash is the firmware, add more zips and pixel experience plus, swipe to confirm flash. Now this will take anywhere between 45 seconds to 2 minutes, even 2, two to 3 minutes at the most. Both of these files will be flashed, so please be patient while that happens. Alright, now as you can see over here the files have been flashed, so slowly scroll through this right installing the first file that is the firmware okay and then the plus addition so let's reboot system now the first boot will take anywhere between 
maybe two to three minutes it won't take that long but the maximum it should take is two to three minutes so please be patient while the first boot happens let's wait for it to boot now as you can see the minimalistic and beautiful pixel experience logo over there and just like that it has booted it says there is an internal problem with your device so you can ignore that error message we're quickly going to skip through the setup part because that's not what we are here for we just want to have a look at the rom setup offline we don't have a sim card in there all right so just like that the setup has been skipped and the brightness seems to be fine so as you can see over here the rom boots with very very basic and minimalistic applications to the left you do have google discover which of course is not showing because we don't have uh, the google account signed in and you do have the pixel launcher but what i can tell you right off the box this is pretty pretty smooth let's have a look at uh, the camera application but boy this is smooth oh so this is your usual very very basic camera application and it should get the job done right and you have like 4 8 12 and 13 applications so that's pretty pretty neat if you go to about phone and then if you click on the android version you will see that this is pixel experience plus and the kernel is ethereus version 3 you do have the android 11 easter egg which also gives you the cat game so bubbles should be supported but notice they are not supported by whatsapp yet right so pixel experience plus very very smooth very very solid now if you go to display over here and you go to refresh rate it does say that the refresh rate minimum is 30 maximum preferred refresh rate is 120 and maximum is 30 i don't know why that is 30 but maximum should be 120 and minimum is 60 so the refresh rate is there adaptive refresh rate is working we will check that in the complete review but the first impressions to me they look pretty pretty good because this is minimalistic this is smooth this is fast i will use it and very soon i will do a live stream about it let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye